Ora. The tension is past, and a calm peace comes over you. There's this shadow, this looming darkness of regret and anxiety gives way to the sounds of the soft breeze of Zephra through the trees. You feel the presence you've missed for a bit as you turn from the shadow amongst the various cherry blossom branches and the wind that blows and this kind of soft dreamscape before you. You see Will. Nothing more than to stay here. And in that moment of relinquishing to whatever the next life may be, you hear Fern's words echo out from above. The soft dream begins to fade a moment, and you glance up into a shaft of light. And her words call out to you. And you're torn. You look back down to Will, who looks back at you. And as his voice echoes, you're not done. I really wish I could stay. I'll still be here. Oh, I miss you so bad. There will be a time. I look forward to it. Say hi to Derek for me. Say hi to Derek. reaches out and embraces you. Like a hot spring that just envelops you. You feel the warmth and light of a connection you've missed for so long. you up towards the shaft of light. And as you drift upward, you watch the tree begin to fade. You see his face begin to fade. And you feel the sting of dust and sand against your cheek. You blink and squint and come to focus. And as you look right up into the face of Fern, upside down above you, tears streaming down her face. everything we can oh. so far. No, 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 what are you doing? I'm, <sighs> What do we do though, but what do we do? 